That's Dude. the same teacher or school that made him do YMCA as a nine-year-old in a little <laughs> Indian outfit and uh, knowing what the song represented. It was a Native American outfit. Oh, Native American. Out of a Catholic school? During yeah, at the least I wasn't like Tim and had the those chaps yeah. on. You know, <laughs> like Tim, your friend. You know, yeah. Hey. Oh, so... <laughs> At least they gave me the Shut up, dress. Nick. Hey, and this is during the <laughs> scandals of the church. Yeah, yeah, the housing crisis. So let's bring the village people in. Put the kids in village people outfits. Oh, that's good. They're trying of to save the priests. Don't touch anything. It's the greatest find yet. Nothing compares to it. But it's definitely something you should hear. This is The Real Deal. Welcome to The Real Deal with me, Larry Lawton and Nick. Uh, we have Hello. a good show uh, today. We're going to be updating a lot going on this week. This is going up right now, Tuesday at 5 o'clock or 5.30 or whatever it's going to be by the time it's up. And uh, we have a big day. But before I get started, just let me, I have to go with my shout outs always to Oliva Cigar. They've been with us for a long time and they're good people. Uh, so give them a shot. They're a big company. Uh, but they, they do quality work. That's all I could say. Totally quality work. Uh, Nick, let's get right into you. Into uh, me? No, let's get into you. No, well, we're getting into it. <laughs> <laughs> let's get into you. Okay, let, let me let everybody know what's going on. First of all, tonight, Tuesday, April 9th, uh, at 10 p.m. on the East Coast. I know me. that. Yeah, don't huh? get into me. There's so much going on <laughs> with you. 10 <laughs> p.m. East Coast time. I don't know yet. The show is on VH1, the channel VH1, and the Shout show out is Desma. Desma, Desma was who is the showrunner, producer, and the show comes out at 10 p.m. Eastern, and it's called My True Crime Story, and this is the truth. I have no idea right now how they're going to portray me. Good. I mean, you you think it's good? I yeah. Mean, kind Desma's of look- whole thing was a positive, you know, a, a positive. positive view that you actually felt feel. She even had to dig for it she's like please dude you're kind of seeming a little uh mobstery I well you know remember i wouldn't a, lie I show a heart to you yeah <laughs> i wouldn't lie that's funny uh a lot we're uh, gonna get back to that show because it's tonight tonight that's a whole hour to do a whole hour on me which is pretty wild uh i have another show coming out friday now that show is on the, the youtube channel jubilee which is very big 8.6 like double no jumper and all those shows it's huge it's huge. like a mini no um it's like a, it's like a mini, network yeah it's like a buzzfeed yeah it's a good like one a buzzfeed. Yeah. It's like a buzzfeed. yeah i i mean bigger maybe even i don't know how much probably not is. I, I just don't know i don't know but with that said they have a show on there called ranking r-a-r-a-n-k-i-n-g he was wild on i it. that's what i'm wild, i was gonna get at nick guys go ahead wild you're just wild that's all you can well, go see the show guys i wouldn't spoil it for him but you definitely were wiling out the whole time. Everyone was nice and proper. And How do you think Larry. they're going to portray me? That I am excited to see. <laughs> I Bad don't know I'm, I'm not too poor. excited. <laughs> it's going to be poor. They're going to portray you pretty poorly. Like a bad person? Yeah, you're definitely going to be the antagonist of the episode. For sure. Everybody. Which isn't bad. But you guys know out you there know? I'm not. I'm a good yeah, guy. I'm not saying it's bad, but you're definitely going to be the antagonist no, of that, the... That, the no. Yes, no. Yes. No, that heroin are. dealer. We're well, gonna find out now. The now, if they make you look like a bully, that'll be bad. I don't think they. I will. don't think I was really. Can a bully. you spin it in the behind the editor chair for sure? Very Nick, easily. Uh, you know, Nick <laughs> you does know? a lot of editing <laughs> and producing of our stuff, Joe. So, and 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 thank you guys, whoever commented about the quality of our videos going up. We're giving a concerted effort. More Nick, even me. A concerted effort to make these videos better and the quality better. We're still listen. Retention, we're not professionals. Retention. Retention. What's that? <laughs> we just want to make better product, yeah. too. And, you know, uh, so we're trying to do that. And, again, we don't have money or anything. We're not one of these YouTube channels that got a lot of money or anything. So what we're doing is uh, we're learning. I mean, Nick falls down rabbit holes for days. Where is he? Where is he? He's in Premiere Pro figuring out, I don't know. After Effects. After, there you go. And, I mean, I wasn't impressed. And I wasn't going to say this, but I don't want to blow his head up. I wasn't going to say this, but even yesterday when I saw what he did with, with, a, with a piece we were doing, uh, not not the last, the one before that, the video before this one, the, the one we just did about oh, the, the lottery the, one. Yeah. That, it's before coming out that. Right now to yeah, you guys. Yeah. It's so. coming out. There's a video coming out right now. But the, 
Oh, t- the um. You remember you did some real the good. Coast Guard. Coast Guard one. With the yeah, bridge. Yeah, and then it all ruined during the export. Sorry, guys. <laughs> With the bridge and everything. But I'll be honest, that was a real... I, I understand. Do I think we need that, all of that? No. Content is king. It always will for be. For sure. But Oh, for sure. But like Nick said, I'm looking at our board. We have a board right here, guys. Oh, I was just looking at that, too. And it is filled. I shout came in this AB, morning. Shout out AB Camping. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to AB Camp. We're going to send him a box of cigars, so maybe he'll, he'll watch you guys send him this. Mm-hmm. But I'll tell you funny, guys. Uh, I came to work this morning, and I looked at this board, and I go, who messed with this board? That's been there all week. I didn't notice it. Yeah, I, I've, it's been like that. It's been slowly I've been relegated going. to the other office. That's because you <laughs> want to be there. So. so Speaking of the other office, guys, let's fully go on to that. Yesterday, Larry came home around... Uh, I was in the office and he came home at like 10. Wait, wait, why are we talking about this? Because you just brought up your other office. Oh, he the RV? in the RV, yeah. There was an accident in the RV. Boom! Uh, my brother David Boom. was guiding me. David was guiding me. And he pushed me right into a wall. So Larry went out partying <laughs> or something. I don't know. No, a business don't meeting. Uh, something. But he came home at like 10. It's not too late. You know, 11. No, I, I don't know. It's like 11. Yeah. I don't go out late anymore. It's like 11. Then, you know. Giant bangs. His mom comes in. She's like, where's Larry? Oh. And I was like, what? She was like, he just hit something. And I was like, I know. I was on the phone with him. He said he hit nothing. And we go back there. And this entire mm. privacy fence wasn't just pulled over. A it big was wooden fence. Totally ripped <laughs> out of the ground. It's like shattered. And like shattered. Yeah, I'll put some pictures up. Really yeah, quick. you got to put just, a couple pictures up. I got them. Well, this is going to go into... It was destroyed. You destroyed the thing. Just look at it. To, to, to be it. real, I was trying to flatten out the back hump that we had there. Yeah. So okay. I went hard. I went fast with it. Yeah. And it went up that hump. Because yeah. that's a 26 I heard I was on the phone with you when you did it. And I was like, what did you just hit? And you were like, nothing. I really didn't feel it. <laughs> Goes to show you what you can do with that yeah, thing. Yeah, it was like nothing. That thing is so heavy and big. You don't yeah. even know. You do not know it. Yeah, so I almost ripped the back off of it. When we were talking, because it was his neighbor's fence. It's not his fence. <laughs> it was his neighbor's fence. <laughs> I had fence. a knock on their and door. I, and I was like, yeah, hey, they have a dog. We have to go tell them not to let the dog out or it's going to get lost. They're good dudes, though. And uh, Shout out to my neighbors, Nick. Yeah. Nick and his, and his roommate. They're good guys, man. They come out. Well... Larry knocks on the door and is like, hey, I hit, I, I hit your fence. And he really just thought he might have just bumped into the fence and this thing was destroyed. We all start <laughs> laughing. And here's the best part was all day that day I was, I was teaching you or showing you a, a sketch, right? I, all day earlier that day I was showing you about sketch and you were. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. yeah. The sketch content, the YouTube. The, the, uh, the streamer the sketch. Streamer. And you finally like were aware of. Him being he's a good devil. content creator. And no, his, no, no. He's the devil. His neighbor comes out, and all I did was this, and his neighbor looked at me and went like that and put his finger up and says, you really messed this one up, brother. And Larry's eyes blew they up. They did. They did. Because he didn't, like, I guess, realize how much of an impact this kid had in the in past year. year. Yeah. Not even, even just like four months, too. Unbelievable. So... And I think the guy is the devil. Just even your next door neighbor. I mean, yeah. He did the same and we motions. Never talk, they also follow me. Yeah, he does the same. He did the same motion. He did. I the, was the, like, the, I told you this guy is huge. You know, you know, Nick. Nick, I love these guys. They're young guys, but in their thirties. He said, look, "You really messed this one up, brother." <laughs> he did say that. And those guys, you know, what I liked about the kids. They, they when I first moved back here in in, in two thousand eighteen yeah. to help mom, uh, when their mom, oh, oh, what's going on? And it's the neighbors lighting fireworks just before Fourth of July, like yeah, the yeah, first yeah. or whatever it is, and they're blowing stuff up. I go, oh, I mm-hmm. like these guys, man. So I went out there and I was drinking a beer, and just bullshitting with them. Yeah. I, I wasn't even in YouTube yet, I mean, yeah. So I wasn't there. They're cool, very cool yeah. dudes. They were even they younger. They play video five games. Years ago. They're, you know, well, I mean, socially, they're, you know, they're nice. They're, aware they're, of things. <laughs> the cops go there a lot, but they're nice. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't mean you're not nice. I love that. Yeah, because yeah, I get nervous because when the cops come down the block, I think, oh, no, they yeah. go to my house. <laughs> Just that timing of how I find, because you kind of were sleeping on sketch for a little bit. and I had Me? To, yeah. Oh, totally. Just for a little. And then I, you, when you sit down and you actually get into someone, you totally can understand where they're coming from. But totally. it was awesome how many hours in that day we watched of him just to, like, grasp it. 
if you know he was autistic or not. And you finally were like, okay, this guy's smart. He is and a that con. Same night, your he neighbor came con. out and was acting like. Hey, brother, sketch. you've been doing yeah. it all over since we've been watching this. Nick and I have a bad habit. We watch Tuesday, so Tuesday. much. Tuesday, <laughs> shut up. We watch so much YouTube, guys. Shout out Tuesdays too. And uh, when I say we watch YouTube all day long, all pot, everything, we're all over the internet. And uh, so we like love Shane Gillis. So you start for you watch enough of him, you start repeating line. Oh yeah, he's done with this sketch guy. He's repeating. I'm, his, very I'm not. I'm not going to do that. I, I'm impressed. But just, I like the video. They have a video room. him and uh, Steve will do it. Oh, that it's funny. That was yeah, great. We didn't even watch like the first half of it. Either. Yeah, didn't you see him in the bathroom goes, doing dope? <laughs> totally, guys. <laughs> no, there was one beforehand where he we had like a model next to him. And she was like, oh, I, yeah, I heard yeah, yeah, everything yeah, yeah. was bigger in Texas. And he goes, I'd love to disappoint you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love well, to disappoint you. Well, he did a dating you. show. That's so funny. And he, he did not directly kick any of them off. He had a code word. What was it, cookies? A cheese. Oh, cheese. Yeah, he was and, too embarrassed to do it. So he had jinxed And I'm talking. Block listen, the chicks. Listen, they had about Their 12 fans. girls. No, they were, they were 20 OnlyFans models. 20? That, gorgeous guys. OnlyFans models. They gorgeous. were for sure OnlyFans. I mean, really fans. gorgeous. Yeah. And how they want to date this guy Sketch. Yeah, right. Go look at Sketch and you tell me who's dating him. Yeah, and then the, the, the winner said, yeah, I'll go on a Fortnite date with you. Yeah, I'll and go on a Fortnite. A and that fit. means over the, over the computer. He threw a <laughs> I want to go on that a date. So I want to go on a date to GTA with somebody. A role play guy date? or a girl? A role play sure. date? Sure. <laughs> you said they got to pay me. Hey, right? I'm an equal opportunity guy, so it could be a I guy think or girl. Speed dating is up there. The what is it? Speed dating's up on. The oh, you board. have it for me? Yeah, it's somewhere in that jumble mess. Oh my god, speed dating! I didn't even see that one. Yeah, it's somewhere. Up well, there. well, you know what's fun, guys? Just gonna get back on track here. We're excited now because we're going to get this done, this podcast up. The other is another video going up at, at uh, uh, 5 o'clock. And then this big show is at 10. And we're going to have a watch party here. Not a big, big one, but we have a couple of friends coming over, Nick's friends, a couple of my friends. And we're going to sit and drink some stuff and do some medicine, you know, medicinal marijuana, marijuana, medicinal for me, uh, marijuana. And because it, it's not legal here, but I do have a medical license, just for the record. Because uh, I wouldn't do anything illegal. Everything I do is administered by a doctor. Not I didn't say where fence. he got his degree. The <laughs> fence was destroyed. I, just, I can't get the fence. Yeah, the <laughs> fence is a little destroyed. I really didn't know I did that. I mean, obliterated it. Obliterated you know, I never seen that till today. I didn't even see it last night. I did not see that last night. Allegedly, okay. Oh, you, I might have walked yeah, back yeah. there, but I, I didn't. I thought it was just a couple of boards. No, it's the whole. No, thing. you'll see. Nick's gonna put some pictures yeah. up. You gotta put. I just took it's them so today. Funny. Here's what my mother did. Did you see what Larry did to Nick? I was yeah, like, what she am came I in here instantly. Hey, that's another thing we're coming that's up funny. with. I did a kind of video with my mom on the patio. Nick set up the phone, and she's a pistol, Nick. I try to make her say, "F you." Mm -hmm, Not, mm -hmm. I mean, like Larry, go f yourself. She would not do it. I offered her a thousand dollars if you say it. She will not do it. That lady's got principle. You know, in my whole life, I'm 62. I never ever heard that woman. She's curse. always like, "Let me get a five, though." Yeah. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> five dollars. She's, she's a cop. I know for what. what? <laughs> what is she doing with it? She's so net positive in money. <laughs> it's so that? funny. She does nothing. <laughs> and if you it, try to give her a hundred, though, she will. She fall won't take out of her it. Chair. She thinks it's yeah. bad. Yeah. She little no. She, she wants 250 bucks all in fives. No, it's 10, some, nope, 20, it's somewhere tens in the house. Fives. It's like in a secret compartment. Yeah, well, you know, when she dies, yeah. we're going to have to knock walls down because she's coming to the old school where they it's put just under her bed. Yeah, it's a yeah. suitcase. Yeah. Well, she's been doing this for 40 years with my dad. She's like, I'm not hiding it. It's right there. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. Just because you guys don't want to clean. Yeah. <laughs> no one just checked under my bed, <laughs> you know? Nah, she's a pistol, but she has a great con game. She'll walk into the kitchen, or when I'm in there, uh, <gasps> what are you funny. eating tonight? <laughs> she does that because she knows I'm going to say, Ma, what do you want? Oh, when I just told her we're going to have KFC tonight, she goes, oh, I, I'll get the nuggets. You know, she's a pistol boy because I have to go shopping for her. And you know what's on the list? We got to show her. Uh, I have to get the list. We got to show her uh, Mr. Beast. Oh, That'd be fun. Yeah. 
Mr. Beast is, is coming, the reaction video. We're going to have a reaction with my mom and I, with a Mr. Beast video. Now, you got this is going to be funny, because she's not no, you know, so it's going to be better. And I want to hear her views on this kid. I, I'll call him a, a, you know, a rich millionaire hates other people. It's a, I'll, I'll see what she says. I don't she's know. trying to the, paint him as a devil? Why no, 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 no. Let me tell you what's on my I'm mother's I'm list. evil Mr. Beast. I'm going to tell all everybody. All I do is take. <laughs> my mother, this is not a joke, guys. I love her to death. You all know that. My mother asked Nick, how many times yesterday, are you, or wait, or when are you going shopping? You know, when we're going. Oh, yeah. How many? A lot. <laughs> that was yesterday. Today, literally five. I'm busy today. Five times. She walks right up to this door behind me, opens it, and she stands there. Huh? Huh? What, Ma? Huh? Ma, what's about? You going to go to the store? I said, I told you I would. She's waiting there. She's thinking I'm going to get up and go out the door and go to the store. You should have. No, I shouldn't. <laughs> anyway, here's the here's what's on the list that's so important. She needs. She's panicking. Would you agree? She's panicking. She is panicking. Yes. We give her gummies. So. <laughs> I do not. <coughs> it's medical. I do. Okay, this is what's on her list, guys. Nutty buddies. <laughs> These are chocolate bars. Oh yeah, read this list to us. I am nutty buddies. Coffee mate. Preservation, and don't let Nick get it because he didn't get the arid two the last time. Oh, that was that's that, that that's a, no, it's that's not a, a she, parenthesis. She told me right yeah. there. And she, go, oh, is that me. why she hasn't given me it yet? Right. <laughs> uh, hot pockets breakfast. This is it is my bacon? mother? Bacon. If they they've been out of, uh, but what does it they, say? Nothing. Just hot pockets oh, okay. breakfast. breakfast. They've been out of bacon for five years, and she says every get the bacon. And I never get the bacon. And she goes, okay. <laughs> okay. Honey buns. These are, this is the stuff this that she panicked this for. This is awesome. And I told her, I said, guys, you're going to laugh. I said, mom, Debbie told me, you, that's my sister. I said, Debbie told me, don't get you honey buns. Ah, oh, come on. Then I thought she was going to curse my sister out. No, <laughs> that'd be funny. First time she used Just it. over honey buns? Oh, yeah. Oh, this fucking bitch. <laughs> this fucking bitch. Thinks, all right, all right. That's awesome. That'd be awesome, dude. Oh, that is funny. <laughs> Thinks she's in charge of me. <laughs> I'm 91. I'm the patriot. I'm the matriarch. Who the fuck does she think she is? <laughs> oh, that would be... Oh. That'd be awesome. And if she could do that to Debbie, she's the real G. Because Debbie God, will... Yeah. Debbie's the real boss of this family. <laughs> Nick's scared of Debbie. You know what my sister did to a mechanic? Said, Tell her what she did to a mechanic. Said, you know what I do to the mechanics? Well, when? I go yeah. and I get out. And she said, I keep a fold-out chair in my in my trunk. So when the mechanics are working on my car, I, I, I put it right in front of where they're working and sit right out there and wait for my car to be done. I was like, I am terrified of you. Could you imagine I'm that? You're a mechanic and you, you got this customer just... And Debbie's a... Debbie, don't mess with Debbie. She will tell you. Debbie's what. so nice. Oh, I love Debbie. But she's not going to let you push her over. Oh, that Debbie. is for sure. Debbie will <laughs> run you over like a fucking bulldozer. Yeah, that's awesome. She has no problem. You should see when, I think she has this face that when any salesperson comes up, they see Debbie coming and they go, oh, sorry, wrong wrong address. Yeah. Because <laughs> she comes. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. They what do you want? knock on her door. <laughs> yeah. They already give her the discount. Oh, yeah. already. You know, so. But you have to fight for the discount. She yeah. gets it. They don't care about me. What's that? What else? Okay, is on we're this still list? on the honey list. The, 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 yogurt, of course. That's a good one. We're cream cheese. Iced tea has to have her green. Iced tea. The green. Does tea. it say green? Uh, no, and she knows I know what it is. Oh, because she knew this was for you. She wouldn't mm -hmm. give it to you. You've messed the arid too up. Oh, damn. I don't believe I paid for that crap. You know, it's like 30 something dollars for that crap. Oh, it's so expensive. Oh, that's all they had that one time. I remember. Yeah, right. Good one, yeah. Nick. That's what I'll say. Yeah, it's she it. goes, and the last time you if didn't you get me my green top. You got me the red top on this. The next and last. You just got to keep the green tops, Larry. Yeah, I, oh, I know. There's Not no difference between the green and red ones. Next on the list, two V8 juices. Green, green cap. cap. Green cap. <laughs> it's low sodium. And Hormel completes. No rice. Oh, see, she didn't now, write that for me anymore. Listen, guys. Did you hear what I just getting for a she 90 ran through those wait, hormel a 91 mail. year old woman? Are, you know how much you $3 spent in th up? Yeah, you spent $55 last time on hormel meals. On hormel meals alone. Yeah. What did I buy half the store? No, you bought 10 of them. They're $5 a piece? Almost, yeah, they're like 4 wow. something a piece. 
So it's listen so to this. This is what this lady's 91 does take zero medicine. No high blood pressure, no... Uh, nothing. Uh, nothing, zero. Nothing she takes for vitamins lot. in the dark jars. Vitamins in, no, old... What are they? They're old film jars yeah, from pictures Kodak. For pictures, it's a little yeah. like the old actual film that came out. She still has them. She has them labeled. Can't see that anymore anyway. She can't see. <coughs> and here this lady... How do I tell her she's wrong? But listen, what is her meals are? Nick will tell you if I'm lying. Honey she buns for breakfast. She needs to come in here and smoke. Honey buns podcast. Oh, honey buns for breakfast, right? Yeah, that's here, of course. <coughs> but she says I eat the best. I eat three meals a day. It's three square meals a day. <coughs> then she has hot pockets, of course. You know, that's a lunch item. Gotta have a hot pocket. And then Hormel at night. Are you kidding me? If that ain't a healthy day, <laughs> oh. Are you kidding me? The snack, a treat in between. Another thing, I got to say, and, and, and I'm, I'm going out on a limb here. I got to get this from mom. But she conned me. Oh, okay, when you go, uh, what are you going to eat? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going on a limb. I went to the hospital the other day. I had something wrong with my arm. It was like infected. And it, it I got up. on the scale. It blew up. Maybe that's it, why it was heavy. I got on the scale. At the doctor, your now, arm was twenty pounds. Is that what your is that your excuse that 20, your arm 20, blew up twenty six pounds, arms. bro? Look at these arms, you know. So it. then you were in the wrong, not going. When you did, what happened was I was two hundred and sixty six pounds, but I know that's wrong. I really do. It's a hospital, and I know they're wrong. My scale in my house is right, and my scale in the house this morning, guys. I was 244. So What's I feel. What's the whim? What's the whim you're going out on? You just derailed that. What's that I am going to be 220 pounds by summer. Summer is. Is May. June 21st, I think it is. The first day of summer is June 20. I, no, I think it. We're not going technical. Summer counts when school's out. No, it doesn't. Yes, it, it does. Because it goes out different times all no, over the country. No. Missouri school laws. These, well, are the where, where Missouri? These are the rules. Missouri, Missouri gets setting. nothing. Now they want the school day. <laughs> we're, we're doing, yeah. No. When so, summer starts, the official May, date, May, June 21st. May no. 20th. June 21st. I will be 220 pounds on my scale. If I'm not. It's going to take you almost two months to lose 20 pounds. To do it right, yes. I'm not going to crash diet on this one. I'm, I'm going to do it healthy. I'm going to get in no, shape. Yeah. You don't know how to do that. I'm, look. You don't know now. how to do that. Why? I don't know how? The fasting worked, and then you just stopped. I didn't say... I'm going to still do fasting, but in a, in a better way. See, what was happening, Nick, is I was coming off my fasting, guys, <laughs> and going crazy. And you're gorging for four days. He, that's because Five, Nick... Five, six Nick, days. Listen, Nick is nice enough to, to, to pack that medicine for me into a bowl. This was way before that. What was? You gaining all this weight was way before you were smoking weed. No. Yes, it was, Larry. Yes, it was. You know how bad I am when I You just weed. started smoking weed because you gained all the weight, and now your back is hurting. It's true, 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 true. Good point. See, yeah, it's all, it's all it on the weed. But listen, you know what happens with me with weed. Yeah. I am an animal. You destroy <laughs> cookie boxes and brownies and everything in sight. Anyway. That's for sure. That's another thing I was just talking about. I was telling my mother on the... Uh, on the patio, you guys got to see that video, Nick. I told her that Mickey Mouse was in charge since the fifties, and she looked at me. And first, of all, I said, "We should we have her react to that South Park episode oh, too." Don't turn idea. it off. Don't censor it. Tell her it's a children's cartoon. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know it's going it. viral. Or people show. Oh, you know what we can also do for her? This is we good. can show her uh, car chases in Grand Theft Auto, like wild ones, and say it's the news. They have news overlays. In the that, game. They, that they show people's moms to react to and just say it's the news. And these grandmas are like freaking out thinking that the world is absolutely going to shit. Because it's, it looks real. You know, these car chases and stuff. I like, love There's the, cars like flying through the air and doing barrel rolls. I, you remember my mother when she <laughs> drove? On, I got this remember. on the board, bro. He has to do it that quick, everybody. He's putting it on the board. He's not forgetting this one. And you know why we're doing this, guys? Just to let you know. Because we get ideas, and then we forget them. <laughs> and 
you know, I have an excuse. It's called 62. Nick has no excuse. Like, just, I don't know, too much weed. I don't know what the hell, too much dabs, whatever they do to these kids today. But anyway, so, uh, anyway, we're talking about that. I have Ben Kissel coming back on, you know. Uh, ben, it's going to come on. It's called being a creative genius. Me? No, me. No. And having too many thoughts of I, creative million-dollar ideas in your head. Wow, Nick keeps taking all my shit. I if we it. do that board, that's about a $5 million, $500 million board. Yeah, with in, interest. In what, with in, interest. In, what, in what country? With are you stocks and bonds. Yeah, in stocks India and money. <laughs> or stocks in, and bonds. You, you know, gave Mr. Beast that board, he'd make about... Four point seven billion uh, net. Oh, he'd have that many views. <laughs> yeah. But I'm gonna do a video. There's got some good ones coming up. We really do. Uh, and what? And again, the reason I'm not blasting and just going every other day is because we want to try to get better and better quality. And we got to get better at it. I'm being honest, both of us. And we will. We're not quitters. You know, I'm not going anywhere unless people don't want to watch. Uh, I think after this week, I'm gonna either get canceled. Or I'm going to get, uh, I Ansel's don't know. Cancel's always good. I don't know if it's good. You know, you've been thinking that. I, wasn't, I don't care about some bitch Karen. You know, I can't laugh. Then you're fine. So, we have a lot of great content coming. Let me explain mm -hmm. that. The board. Yeah, yeah, the board. And the money we board. really got. And I'll tell you why. It's taken me, listen, everybody doesn't know. If you don't know me, I, I've only been on the internet or YouTube for four years. I literally didn't know what you... I never used YouTube once. Did you know tonight we're going to watch the show on YouTube TV? Is that where it is? It is on there. And oh, Laura cool. said... I think you can get a link from them, can't you? Yeah, we do. And we have to put that uh, link to on the on all the... Send the video to the Facebook... Uh, the video. Know. We got to put it on Facebook and, you know... You mean the, the promo trailer, video. The, the promo, promo video. video. Sure, sure, sure. We're going to do that. I want to call the guy right after the show. But the... Uh, also, guys... So, we, we we got that video coming out tonight, and uh, I just think it's going to be... I, I love the producer. I really do. Desma. She's awesome. Desma's a girl. She's she's, awesome. she's experienced, She's man. got her little protege niece with her. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. cool. Her niece is going to win, like, what is it, a Grammy? Oh, yeah, something is that like that. The yeah, categories? Yeah, yeah. I, she's I don't really think a small woman. Matter. She's in L.A. Right. She's a, a middle-aged black woman who is just... Really on the ball. I knew it right away. You remember, when we, you remember when we met her the mm -hmm. first night? We had dinner. Yeah. She took the whole team out to dinner. Oh, I picked she, it up right. She, her and I clicked mm -hmm. very much so. And uh, she was easy to open up to. She was talking. She handled Missy. She handled Missy perfectly. perfectly. She, she loved could, Missy. She loved it. If you she could do. Like, well, do you know who the people she handles? Way, yeah. way more than Missy. That is for <laughs> sure. The people she was telling me she handles is Missy's. So, sorry, guys. I'm going to disagree with that. Yeah. Missy, yeah. I know you watch. <coughs> Tough to beat Missy. Trust yeah. me, I've seen her hot. Yeah. She's I I, she's up there for sure. Oh, she's know? up there. Like, you you know, know, when I first told Desmond's <laughs> in the room with, like, actual serial killer women. You know, like, Doesn't bother Missy you one know, no, Missy, Missy, like, Missy, I'll beat Missy. your ass, bitch. <laughs> Should be eyeing her up the whole time. I told Mid Nick about Missy before he met her, and he thought I'm bullshitting. He walked I in. I did. Yeah, I thought you were exaggerating. We I thought you were just normally talking, you know, about a, a, an ex wife. I was like, yeah, this is normal. Then talk. she walked into the RV in Miami, and Nick goes, holy shit. Because she told, she told Nick, get out of the way or something. It's crazy shit she said to you. Like, she doesn't even met the guy. She started screaming at your son, top oh, of her lungs. Oh, was it funny? It was really, it was awesome. really funny. And your son was just unfazed by it. Nah, nobody yeah. is. David, Dave, you ever watched David and Missy go out <laughs> no. for a drink? Oh, my No, I've never God. seen them really in the They same went to New York together. Too. Yeah. Man. I would have loved to be there. Oh, I would have too. Yeah. They go to these up. Irish pubs. Missy wanting to stay. David said, come on. You know, David, you don't want to walk. He's tired. He's got one lung. And he's <laughs> Missy's trying to run around the whole city. Oh, that was funny. Same with you. You got me walking a lot there, if you remember. Yeah, I was tired, too. No, I was like, I you will imagine. be tired. We walked miles yeah, there. I was like, I can imagine how you felt, dude. I was like, Dude's. I held, I held I was pretty like, good. Yeah, we can take a break. Yeah, sure. You know? <laughs> I held pretty good, yeah. too. You did? Yeah, I mean, very you good. Know, I love the city just for what it is. You were down to like 215 or something. Mm, a little more than that. But yeah, I was 225, maybe. Something like that, yeah. I really want to get down at a 220, under 220. And I think I just think I'll feel better. 205 is too much. You got down. Nah, I looked like a crack. Everyone kid. thought you, yeah, you were dying. Yeah, yeah, no. That's great. You lose too much weight, dying. Yeah. You gain too much it's, weight, well, what I mean, a fat that's, fuck. The, that's the age thing, you know? 
That's what you know what it is. People think when you're older. Yeah, well, they're not close off. I mean, that's what, I'm saying, that's what happens. <laughs> but right? I've been saying that about my mother for thirty years. She doesn't <laughs> fluctuate, though. You know what I mean? Fluctuate. If, she ain't left the couch. That's what I'm saying. But if an old person fluctuates like that, oh yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, it's yeah. very. Well, I'm bad. not old yet. But if I was you're 75, old. then yes. Okay. You think I'm old? Do you mm-hmm. really think I'm old? Yes. I guess I do. You know, it's funny, guys. Anybody the heavier out there, you weigh, the older you. You know, uh, can't be Bob, our buddy. He, him, and I had the exact same age. Did you yeah. know that? A yeah. week apart or something. And uh, so we're looking at you guys, and <clears throat> both we talked about this. We said we never thought we'd make fifty. Mm-hmm. You know, fifty years old. Mm-hmm. Now Nick is looking at me as an old man, and obviously uh, he thinks, "Oh, you know what I mean." He's old because he's 26. You know, 50 to him is a long way off. Uh, to me, you know, I'm 62. I mean, 75 is around the corner. You know, seems I mean, like a while. 12 years. It's if I while. make 80, I am gold. Man, I take 80 right now. Sign it. I will sign a deal with, with what's his name? Fucking Sheck. Sheck? Not a kid. You know, hey, brother. Schenectady. What was his name? Don't mess with me, please. I don't know what you're saying. The guy, the YouTuber. Sketch. The devil? Yes, I told you he's the devil. Why do you think that? He's so calculating. I'm watching everything he's doing. No, it's called autism. No, it's not. He's playing a <laughs> game, man. I, you see him going in that bathroom with the mic on? Yeah, okay. He peed like I do. Psst. That uh, was that was pretty uh, weak, man. That not only weak, weak uh, that was pretty I th- weak. I think he was doing a little uh, bump that he bumps bump there. Or no, something. you would have heard it. He'd yeah. have to have been gumming yeah. his bumps. That's why they shut the mic off. That was it. It's a cry. I love. Listen, I don't judge him. No, if you but watch he's got an a hell IRL of a game, stream, man. Yeah, if you watch an IRL live stream, they're shutting the mics off all the time, dude. If you do one, I would have to constantly be shutting the mic off, and being like, "Hey guys, Mine? get back on track." Yes. Really? Yeah. yeah. I don't know about that. Yeah. He was, anyway, put, he was putting that little OnlyFans prostitute in her place, though. He he muted the mic and put her in her place. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, he was <laughs> he funny. He broke character and I, muted the mic, broke character, and was And like, went over to her. Yeah, and he probably said, listen, this is my act. I'll, lay, I'll, I'll give you, you know, 20 bucks for a blowjob later. Yeah, no, he <laughs> said, I'll give you some dick later, but yeah. like, let me make this content. I'm not leaving with you. Because he she kept trying to get him to leave. Oh, I know. And he was like... He muted the mic and was like, "No, you can tell he was uncomfortable." That was legit. Yeah. He was, uh, now Steve will do it. No, yeah. he's he's not. He's comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, "Do you not know what's going." He can't, I, muted the mic and was like, "I can't leave. I'm, I'm making content." Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, like, like that. You know, I'm not going with you. Go. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it's funny because, you know. Anyway, we watched that show and that was pretty cool. We got some ideas. And there's another video coming up. Boy, is that going to be an explosive video coming in in, in July. Mm-hmm. The beginning of July. That's all I'm going to oh, say. Should I, is, that, uh, uh, is that all I should say? Yeah. That video. Now listen. Oh, you said explosive. That was funny. Yeah, <laughs> you're a little slow today. A little foreshadowing. Okay, here's another thing, it's guys. It's going to be hot. <laughs> There's two trips I'm going on. Uh, maybe three in the next three months. I'm going to New York City. Nick and I are going to see Gordon and the Empire State Building people probably next month. Uh, then. We are going, I am going to Colorado to go to Red Rocks in June, I think it is. And then Nick and I and friends are taking the RV up to New York. So I think we want to set a couple of stops. Maybe people want to buy books, sign them. We'll come on out, have a drink with you guys. You know, like, you know, just hang out. You know what I mean? Do something with with a bunch of you guys, fans and stuff. So if you're in the, the direct route from Florida all the way to New York, whether it's Long Island or you know, Jersey or wherever, Mar- anywhere, D.C., Maryland, Virginia, North Carolina, let us know. And if we get a few, we'll, we'll put out some things to that area. And we'll just find maybe a campsite or something. We'll hang out for the night, you know, five, even if we go for three, four, five hours. It's De- it's Dennis and who's? No, Dennis is not going. Mark will be there. Mark and your you know, brother. IT Mark, my brother, you and me. Yeah. So we're going to have a good time. I mean, it's going to be... Mm-hmm. You know, Nick will do most of the driving, I'm sure. But Mark said he can drive, too. And I yeah, trust yeah. him. David's not allowed. He's yeah. been banned. I don't think people should trust you anymore, either. I think you're right. Yeah, <laughs> no, I think you no, no, no. Too. Be honest how well I drove. I, I wrote. Every time you've hit something. Tell how great I drove with my mom. My, my mother's hit, birthday. Hit something. What did I hit? You hit something. I hit a curb on the way home. I remember you. Yeah, and smashed the 
um, the uh, what's it called? Fiberglass in the back. Did Remember? I yeah. again? Oh, I might have. But I drove real good. I was down side streets. I was doing, you know. Yeah, you did good until you hit something. That's yeah, how it that works. You know what it was? It was at the end. Yeah. It was seven hours that had me working. That's not union. There's no union stuff there. More, another great thing, Morty's part of the team. You're going to see Morty in a video today. I tried today. to get him in here. I tried to get him in here, and he was like, I'm not getting up. Screw you. No, he said to me, you know, he goes, I worked too much last night, yeah. and union says I have to have my 12 hours off. He said, and I had to, he was like. <laughs> Stop doing that. He sounded, this is what we said, imagined. I had to stand guard at the defense he destroyed for hours. You said, think that, that was, was easy? Said, that was overtime, guys. <laughs> you know, the bill's backing He's up. He's constantly trying to bill people, dude. It's kind of oh, out of hand. Oh, and you know. It's just like your mom. Like, what are you going to do with this money, Morty? Mom like, what are you going to do with Morty, this money? <laughs> did you ever notice mom and Morty are really a lot of like. Them watching TV is so funny. No, but. He's got his little arm. Think like, of what I'm saying. At. Morty and my mom, they're both sedentary. They both sit there like they uh, they don't care. They they'll sit in that Morty will sit in that chair with my mother for eight hours. No, fifteen, sixteen. He, he don't move. He literally like will sleep in. The, you could sleep for twelve hours, guys. He's and he. You don't have to worry about him needing water or going to the bathroom or food. No, or, he holds it. He doesn't care, you know. And then you get up after fifteen hours. And no, and when he have, farts and you know no, he's got to go out, you got to no, get up. And then, no, and then still you have to be like get up. And come outside, oh. dude. And these aren't just because his hips are bad. He's always done this. And look at him with my mom, too. He's a little con artist. He gives you those eyes when he wants something. Yeah. My imagine, mom does now that. Imagine, my mom does that. Imagine being like 22 and waking up late for a morning shift and having to get him outside all by yourself. Oh, what well, you did? Yeah, for like, a, you know you're going on a double. You're late. Well, don't now, be late. That's the <laughs> well, key. it happens. It happens. I have a feeling it like, happened a lot with you. You're like, get up, dude. <laughs> get up. And he's like, no, I'm good. He's and then great. he goes and lays down in the backyard. I did a video uh, today. It's out right now. If you get off this, you can go online and get it. And uh, on our station, on the, uh, what is it? The uh, My regular YouTube station, uh, Larry Lord Jewel Leaf. Main it show. was a fun video. It was a goof video. Not a goof. I mean, I here's what happened. I, I went to the store to get lottery tickets in my bathrobe. Nick, what's wrong with a bathrobe? I mean, it's a heavy, thick bathrobe because it was they're cold. They're weird. Huh? They're weird. Bathrobes are weird? Yeah, I don't think they're You don't own a bathrobe? They're not even practical. I have a, a, a like a very nice Four Seasons VIP bathrobe that me and my friend snuck in and stole. Oh, you stole it? Yeah. What do you think I got mine? <laughs> yeah, ever, they're all stole. Oh, mine's way better than yours. Mine oh, no. blows my, yours my, out the wall. No, mine's a... All right, Mom. Capitol send, Hill Suites. Mom, send my robe <laughs> down here. I need... We, we're going to compare them. And I used it like twice, and I was like, who really puts on the robe soaking wet? They like, what great. Is, that's so uncomfortable. First of all, it's not totally soaking wet. You know, you dry yourself with a towel, then you put on the on the bathroom. That's not what the movies show. They show people just grab robes well, and put them you on. You do know movies are fake. <laughs> and that's, but that's, that's just a simple concept. Yeah, it's fake. No. <laughs> anyway, so robes suck. I love bathrobes. I always had them. I wear them. Uh, and I like to wear them if it's cool out, and then you can go out like I did. You know, you can go out outside with them. Because... People go, oh, but you're naked. No, you have clothes on. If you had a jacket or if you had pants on, it's the same thing as having a bathrobe on. What's the difference? It's covering what you wanted to cover. I don't flash people. I'm not like that or anything of that nature. I don't want to see me, you know. Uh, that's so cool. It's the but, EP, bro. Yeah, stop. Nick, Sorry. you just got everybody go, what? You didn't have to react. See, Nick? I didn't say anything. Nick is a uh, medicine. Stop it, Nick. <laughs> anyway, so we got that going on. So, and I did want to definitely tell you about that because the the videos we're going to do with mom, a react video for Mr. Beast. I did the video today on the patio. With her. She's funny. I try to make her say the F word, uh, which couldn't do. Literally offered her a thousand dollars. I think I offered her. I did that many times. But I, my Show mom, it to her in fives. Put it on the yeah, table. Oh, big five. stack. She'll be like, "Fuck you." <laughs> <laughs> She's just not seeing the money. She knows you're not gonna pay her, dude. She's funny, my mom. Uh, yeah, mom, mom. I, I need five. Mom, you, you think she's like never tip, you leave think she's this tipping house? the Eucharist lady? Oh, God needs money. You know, God needs money. What a racket, boy. 
And you know she's we, she she prays three me. grand. How how much? Don't get me going. Six grand on that cross. No, <laughs> yeah, some crazy number. Six hundred grand on that I cross. Don't know, crazy <laughs> number they pay. <laughs> the uh, you know, <laughs> she goes, oh, but they tell us what they spend the money. They give us a readout. Yeah, and when, if you read it, yeah. you'd say, what are you nuts? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like reading a medical bill for band aids. Yeah, they charge you four hundred bucks for a, aspirin a for about two hundred dollars. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, but mom is praying for me. Which listen, I'm not a believer, but can't hurt. You wrecked that fence. She yeah. instantly started praying. She came in here and asked if I wanted to do a prayer prayer circle. She prays for me every time she hears my voice. <laughs> she said, "You know," she said today. She goes, "I go, mom, what are you that crazy?" She goes, "You know, sometimes I think you're crazy." <laughs> Yeah. I guess she knows a me lot of people say it. Yeah. She saved my life, my mom, when I was a kid because of her nursing spills. I had a, a, a fractured skull with hairline fractures up the skull. They thought I was going crazy, just a nutty kid. I kept banging my head against the wall because the pain was that bad. And my mother. Is it just from like tackling and getting in fights? Yeah, and exactly. Falling off uh, bikes and everything. Yeah. I was at my, my head. Running was, into cars. I was like you. Getting tackled into you know vehicles. What I mean? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like you. I've went head first into a few. I cars. guarantee you did. I watched you. I watched you on a few bro. things already. Yeah. I could tell. I've you're definitely you dented dead. a few cars with my body. Look, look you ain't dead. Times. Right. Hope you grow up. Yeah, lucky you're, you're lucky not dead. You're not dead, Larry. Oh, I know that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Way lucky. Yeah. I mean, you know how many times I had a life. Yeah. I'm, just I'm on my. Road, I'm just getting road rash. You're pointing guns at people. <laughs> you know. Like, I'm on my eighth life. Yeah. <laughs> That's the truth, guys. You're dodging bullets and having your brother take them. Oh, bro, they, oh. I was quick. Hey, He's here's what I'm going to do. That bullet. I don't know Maybe if you guys noticed. I noticed the podcast, but this is what people want to know about this. I'm going to be getting a PlayStation 5 and playing Spider-Man. I really, Live I don't know. Streaming. You know why? Live streaming. Because that Dan Sada, who was on Joe Rogan. I, this is the most random person to sell you on that game, too. Because he's you cool. I mean? He's a comedian. I haven't seen him before. Like a very few times. No, I see. You know I, mean? I used to but see. You him. know what I mean? What yeah. an odd person to sell you on that. Well, because the way he the, he explained it to Joe, he how he's a game, everything. The I whole build it way better, guys. No, uh, you did say I can run it. That's about all you said. That made me. Think. You can run it for sure. Yeah. I taught Katie how to play it easy. If, if I can run, if I can do cars and, and GTA. Yes, yeah, it's yeah. easier. You do two buttons to move around. Is it, how do you shoot your web with these buttons? That's it. Yeah, you jump off. Now, how do you move? You still have to run? You feel the momentum. Yeah, you run. Like, you're moving around on GTA. Then you fo fall, and he throws a web, and then you feel momentum, and you can control. And you can feel your, it in the, in the controllers? Kind of, yeah. You can feel. I don't know how to explain it, but you can feel when you need to let go of your web and shoot another one. Oh, wow. Because he's, like, fall, you know, swinging. And then when, if you let go too early. <laughs> Crash into a... No, uh, if you let go too early, you... I don't know. You totally learn how to start letting go early or longer, or how hard, like long you need to. Obviously, any hold on game, your Nick, you know, any. Cool. And, no, I'm saying any game. Momentum. Is you, if you play it enough, you're going to get good. Period. Yeah, it's yeah. about time. But you, you know, these guys who are real good, they just sit on a game for 10 hours a day. Way longer, yeah. Way longer? Yeah. How's the lo well, how was the longest you ever stayed on one game without um, stopping? Okay, so I don't mean for a piss. I mean you know. Like oh yeah, yeah. One <clears throat> continuous game. So uh, zombies, Black Ops three. I went to round ninety two, and it took me it, ni in nineteen. No, you won't. No, even I went to round ninety two oh. on Black Ops zombies in one sitting. It was in one sitting. Yeah. And How long is that? It was a, a day and something. Did I you pee in a buck? Did you pee in a bottle? No, I just paused the game and went pee because I was on solo. You know. And if I was on duos with Cameron, you can't pause the game, so one person would have to take the last zombie and run around with him while you went and pissed. And if that zombie... Now, do you talk to your partner? Die, yeah, I'd be oh. like, hey, I have to pee or eat or, you know. And then he would run around, babysit it. And if it died, you'd have to hear him on the mic screaming for you because then the new round would start. And then uh. if me and Cameron just spent 18 hours getting to round 50 together and it starts, yeah, I have to be right there. Or else we're going to die, and the whole game restarts. Who so was your several. favorite partner to play with? Tish? Tish was fun with... Um, Tish is a girl, like as a friend, we did a video like with her. She's a great girl. It was Tish and Cameron were, like, fun people to go around and, like... Did you ever meet people. Cameron? Yeah, I've hung out with Cameron several times. Like Tish? Cameron. Yeah. Cameron lived out in Illinois, so he was only, like, an hour away from me. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. yeah. So he would come down to the city. Oh, that's cool. Probably take a bus... 
Now he would drive his car. Oh, I didn't know if he had a car. You could take a bus too, right? Eh? I'm sure it's bus. No, to city, city. in Edwardsville, no. You can't oh, just no? take buses like that. Oh, no. Used no. To no. I mean, maybe if you got a Greyhound. Yeah, that's what I meant. No, yeah. he just drove his car. I got it. You know, it's funny because. <laughs> when he turned 16. He's like, oh, I'll come down when I. Because t- we met before 16. Or we didn't meet until he was I know, 16. Exactly. Like yeah. Tish, same with Tish, right? Yeah. Or well, you didn't meet her until later, even. Yeah, it was like 20 something. This was like, I met Tish like three years ago. Tish is great. She's yeah. going to be over tonight watching the game with us. But uh, I know, I've know i known her for, I don't know, 10 12, years. Something yeah. years, 12 years, Probably. yeah. Anyway, she, and she's fun. She's a good person. and her, her uh, She's funny. You'll see her on live streams. And her partner, like her partner's streaming. fun, too. I like yeah. her partner, Ta- Tyler. She's cool. Taylor. Yeah. I say Tyler all the time. You it's don't know Taylor. Those names. I think it's it's like I'm telling you what it is, Larry. What is it's it? It's behind your brain. It's a small disrespect thing. No, sure it is. Come on, you don't, don't say it. that, Nick. No, I ain't accepting that. I might have a uh, 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 it's that has nothing. You can't say people who forget about, names what about, is disrespectful what about at all. Ta- what about uh, Schnett Schenectady <laughs> or whatever his name is? Uh, sketch. <laughs> what about Taylor? Oh, what about Swift's that other boyfriend fat guy? You remember that one Taylor guy in the Swift's boyfriend? Bang? Oh my God! What? What about Taylor Swift's boyfriend? Yeah, what about the guy in the mugger? You don't care to know the name. Uh, Angel Dundee. I, well, who was that on it? And uh, the fat His guy. Name is Nick, Larry. <laughs> oh, Nick Damacani or something. Nick I, avocado. Avocado. <laughs> oh, a fat pig. That's so funny. You see that guy? That guy's Ow. the. Jesus. That was good. That he's disgusting. I'm sorry. I don't oh, care. Disgusting. I don't care. He is disgusting. I look at him and oh, I say, and I know what's wrong with America. I really do. That should be illegal, not robbing jewelry stores. I mean, oh, that illegal. should be, yeah. That should be illegal, no, for sure. I mean, what he's doing is Doing that to your body. Because he did it to his body on purpose. And you know why? Because I'm going to end up paying his medical bills. For sure. Well, not his. He's pretty wealthy from it, so you're good. Well, my point but is, he, he people, can't go yeah. that route because if someone no, smokes a cigar. Yeah, yeah. So I get that part. But just to what he's done, and, and he rides around, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to slap the shit but out of But the thing, guy. the sad part is that he did all that for content because he was my <laughs> size, remember? Like yeah. four years ago, You're he right. was my size. And he and did the guy all blew up to 400 pounds. Just for content. And now he cannot get his... And he'll die from it. He's in a he's in a motor scooter. It's fight. not healthy. He never seen his balls. You know, guys like that, how do they wipe their ass? They don't. That's sad. <laughs> Listen, if you're heavy out there, get lose weight. I mean, I can wipe my ass. When I can't wipe my ass... You just took the slowest recognized pause. <laughs> what are you talking about? Why? You said if you're heavy out there, lose weight. Me, <laughs> yeah, I am. Uh, but no, when I can't wipe my ass, then then it's over. Oh, take me out. Yeah, I mean, yeah. okay, let's get off that one. But really, guys, so we're gonna have a couple of those kind of stuff coming up. Not that. No more mukbang and no more Kelsey or whatever his name is. I know who Taylor Swift is, though. No, I'm a Swifty. I really am. I like that girl. Ever since she gave those bonuses to those truck drivers, too. Man. Just put on your hat. Put on your... You should have had, like, a Make American hat. Oh. Under uh, there for, yeah, a bit or something. That would have been so funny. You said after they... She gave all those bonuses to those truckers. And I put on a Taylor Swift hat? No, Make American Great hat again. Oh. (laughs) That'd be so funny. I have one. Oh, I have... I got picked... You ever see a picture of me in the American Great hat with a picture, Trump? Mm Mm-mm. Oh. oh, you met him in his little hat? No, a buddy of mine was a union president, right? And he had it, pictures with him, and he also had, it, you know, all the signs. And so he goes, ah, go, yeah, let's see. I, I said, you want to see the best debater in the world? <laughs> Wait, was it a cutout or something? I think it was, oh, yeah. No, gotta say I meant, that. I don't know if it was the poster or like a stand-up. Yeah, it wasn't there. Trump. No. Oh, okay. Trump's not waiting in the PBA office in Miami. We didn't, you didn't give us a setting or a, you know, you didn't set the tone. You didn't give me a theme. Listen, I told him to wait, but he had a meeting. I said, you can go. I mean, of course, you know, you think he would give me if he wanted, he'd give me a pardon. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So I got to contact him. him. Yes. Oh man. He would, you know why he'd be good? Because you'll have to wait. uh, It'll be about another four years. You'll have to wait till he's out again. No. Or two. No, Trump. Is he two? It's four. Tr- no, no, tr- max is four. Yeah, that, no, that's it. What you get? It's a four-year sentence. A four-year so term. Serve eight. You can serve eight. Okay. You have to win election oh, okay. again. So, 
It'll be another four years until you get pardoned. He'll at wait. the end of a sentence. Yeah, he'll no, wait. At the end of a sentence. No. It is kind of a sentence, you know. No, Nick. He can pardon any time he wants. No, I'm just saying wants. strategically he's going to wait until the end. He didn't do that this pre- last presidency. Yeah, he did. He f- did them all throughout his whole damn... Uh, whenever he, he needed one he to them. change the news. I no, love I know. it. And at the very end, he did a, a oh, shit ton that. of them. They all yeah. do that. But so even before that... Just ask. I don't know hey, why you didn't ask. Whenever they needed a place. new narrative in the news. You should have. Hey, let's let Ted Kaczynski out. You should have asked in 20, what, 20? You know, I really should. I should have. I should have. But I wasn't in a mental state. You know? Oh, well, you still thought you were going to reoffend in 2020? No, I never <laughs> no. thought I was gonna... <laughs> You're like, I still was out here in these streets in 2020. Dude, running around. I have another announcement to make. Our friend. You criminal. What? You criminal. Why are you call me a criminal? That's not right. Don't ever call me a criminal again. <laughs> oh, the you Jubilee know? video, guys. This Jubilee vlog video is going to be funny. Uh, I have a feeling, guys, that... Uh, no. Anyway, let me tell you what's going on. So, I want to thank ESB. When I say ESB, it's Empire State Building. Probably one of the most famous buildings in the world. In fact, it's been in more movies than any no, other it, building. I think it is the most famous. I would you know, say one I, of them. I thought Give me that. another one. The White House. Give me another one. <laughs> the Pentagon. Definitely not Pentagon. No. You, you think that Asian people in Asia know about the Pentagon? Oh, you damn right. They do. No, you know they, what that is? The biggest building in the world. I couldn't even draw you the Pentagon. Can you? No, I can't. <laughs> no. It's, that's how I know it's not that big of a deal. You know, you you, you are right. I was thinking this earlier. That's yeah. why I said White House right away. But then you could say and that. I still couldn't draw you the White House. No, well, that's you. But you got to also say to yourself, that's a house. Yeah. Building, like yeah. office building or whatever. I would count, no, I would count the White House as a building. It's definitely a building. Well, then the so. Capitol, man. The Capitol is one of the most recognizable symbols in the world. I couldn't. You know, the, the dome, Capitol. the Capitol dome and all. Nope. Oh, by far. That's where they raided. They they broke into Pelosi's office. I couldn't office. draw you the building. Well, you can't. The only reason you can draw you by state building is because you went there. I couldn't, no, I couldn't pick you out the building in a lineup. You can't. The Capitol? That's sad. Is it the green top? Green? That's Statue of Liberty. No, the green top on it. It's got the green roof. No. What's the one with the big green it's roof? It's got a dome. A, is it green? White. Oh. It's the capital. Yeah, it's you, on I our money. You, I couldn't tell you. Nick, it's on our money. Oh, so it is green. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, I want to thank them. Here's what they did for us. We have a very good friend, one of my good friends and Nick's good friend, Gordon Blair. Gordon, shout out to you, buddy. Well, he's work- his two bosses, who I got to meet and uh, talk to at least, uh, they run the media departments and everything for the ESB, and they're going to be sending us some footage of the eclipse for, with, with like where the Empire State Building's in it, and we're gonna post them for everybody and to talk. It, it they said it's one of the most beautiful pictures, you know, you're gonna see. Cool, yeah, yeah. So I, and everything up there. Gordon was telling me about it. he was up there when it was a nasty day out on the 86th floor. He's but, there shaking. Yeah, I but, wish I was there. Listen to what oh. he said. He goes, but so cool when he went to the 102nd floor. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. The cloud was cover awesome. was a thousand feet. He goes, and that's 1,250 feet. Whoa. And he's up there, and he goes, it was it's the sunny most. Sunny and everything. Beautiful. And you could see, it was just gorgeous. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, right? And, and it's like kind of, so the Empire State Bill is pretty cool. Awesome We're learning footage. a lot about it. Did he right? make a video of that? I don't know. I think he did. He should have taken a video of him standing and then taking the elevator and stuff. Yeah, Gordon's the most knowledgeable guy I know in New York for sure. Yeah. Obviously. He's <laughs> yeah. still not giving us all the knowledge that he knows. No, he knows There's more. something there. I'm, I'm holding you There's to it, Gordon. There, Gordon. Gordon, you better tell us. <laughs> the uh, Nick, but he, uh, I want to thank him and, and uh, Brock, which is, uh, and the, the, the other boss too. So they are good guys. They really are. And you know what? They're helping us out. They know they all smoke my cigars, or at least if they don't smoke, they got them. Gordon gives them out to people. And, uh, just a great guy. I can't wait to go up and meet Gordon, have a drink with him, a nice scotch with Gordon, have a cigar. Yeah, he's great. And Oh, I'm excited too. Really? Yeah, he's he's one of the guys you want to hang with, man. He has some stuff. It's all coming out. It, when we get up there, it's all coming out. It's over. 
you might not make it back. I don't think I. <laughs> I, I don't think so. But but now we're gonna go up there again. Uh, we're gonna go for four days for business up there, and then come back. Like I said, I'm going to June. I'm going to Red Rocks, and then in which is also a soft uh, a baseball game, and after that, I'm going to. Uh, I see. Oh, we're going to New York, and you're driving. So we want to make a big stops on that one now. Right, Nick? You know, we really do. I want to make a couple of steps. So even if we have to go a few days early, I, just even if we stop for three, four hours. But I want to do that and hang out with some people, drink. Yeah. You know, br- we'll bring some beers and booze. Like stop him, like, I don't know. Look anyway. at store, but if we find out there's a lot of people, bring a keg of beer. Now, listen, if you're going to come to anything I'm doing, if you're not 21, believe me, guys, I know that I'm going to be an asshole. I am going to be carding people. I cannot give alcohol to anybody under I wouldn't 21. I would give alcohol to anyone, really, unless it's like... We're going to have a drink I know, with people. I know, but you don't... Even here, you are not going to be like, oh, guys, come over here, and I'm giving out alcohol. Why not? We do it every day. <laughs> no, it's totally different. Oh, you mean you know like just I mean? the people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. if someone comes in, then it's like, oh, yeah, we'll have a drink, but it, don't be like... Oh, we're gonna drink here, guys. Come yeah, come on, everyone. And I'm gonna have give 25 everyone, people here. Yeah, I'm gonna have. Every, I'm gonna give everyone beers. No, there could be 30 people here and yeah. drink me out. Of it. Yeah, no. <laughs> Nick, go but get more cases. Yeah. Now you get a keg of beer. Then it's like an insurance. And no, you what you like, do is you get a keg of beer. Yeah. And you know what I mean. And then and that's it. You say, listen, I got beer and soda. You want to come on, bring anything else you want. Maybe we'll have a barbecue. You know, but you can do that. No. <laughs> Brother, shut. up. You're not doing this. I didn't this. say anything, dude. Don't do it. I didn't say anything. And I'm going to yell at Nick when I see him. <laughs> oh, what an act. I'm going to yell at Nick, too. I'm yelling at Nick. Anyway, the two Nicks. Are he knew exactly my what was up, he did, too. He did. But anyway, guys, uh, so we're doing that. We're going to have a lot of fun with that. Uh, we, If you guys have any other suggestions, we got a lot of videos coming out. And they're going to be crazy videos. Some good prison videos. I'm going up in an airplane and I'm going over Coleman Prison, the biggest prison complex the federal system has. And I'm going to go over it as low as he can. And we're going to take fit. I'm going to show people the buildings <laughs> where I was at from the air. And I never been there, seen it from the air. I used to always think about how to get out of those Dry, uh, Flying low is way scarier than skydiving. No, oh, I flew. Yes. I flew planes. Flying so. low is way scarier than. Listen, driving. I flew planes. Okay, I and I've flown in planes flying low, and I've skydived. And I why do you think? You a, why do you opinion. think flying low is scary? Because if as soon as something happens, you're it's, gliding. It's <laughs> you're in a you're in a two seater or four seater. It's I used to fly the Cessna 152s for training and so the 172s, but I didn't get my license because the federal government stopped me. You Augusta, know why? Augusta, they wind. put me in prison, <laughs> and I asked, "Can I finish my license?" No, no, they're not. I just oh, wanna, you can't you can't get your license. No, now I can't for health flight reasons. Plane. Now I can't for health reasons. Why? You get you have you get a flight flight medical a flight physical. If you can't pass the flight physical. Oh, you can't get it because of your health reasons. Right. Oh, my heart okay. alone. I thought you were saying that you could get it because of health reasons. No, my heart would, oh. would bar me from getting it. Because if you take heart medications or you even had a you don't want a heart up there have a heart attack, you know. So you have to pass the physical every so often. The back wouldn't be, and that's not life-threatening or something like that. So, but yeah, I have enough other stuff. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think a felon has anything to do. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't hope not. Yeah, I know most of the guys are flying drug yeah. planes. <laughs> but even then, th- then you're now thinking that every felon is going to go fly right, drug right. planes, no, you know? No, no. <laughs> listen, listen to me, guys. Fe- felons, the biggest reason people stay out when they do is because of the age out of crime. You know, you get to that point in life, you go in. That's why I had a, I have a system that could should never be beaten. We could stop a lot of this. The first time a person offends, Nick, you give them three years. To the day, with a lot of, like, education or whatever. Let's say you offend for drugs. You, five kilos, three years. 20 kilos, three years. Day to day, three years of rehabilitation. If you're not killing people, you know, something like that, or rape. The next time you, you get out, no paper, nothing. Give him a good shot, everything. Next time he gets out, if, he, if you commit another offense, I'm not going to put you in life. I'm giving you seven years. Done. Seven years. Day for day, a little bit more intensive, a little bit stuff. Figure it out. If you get out and you do it again, 10 years. After that third time, Nick, that's 20 years actual time behind the wall. You're either old enough for a year, 
or you'll never ever change ever. And I still don't believe in putting people away, let them prove themselves. And they will. I mean, most people will. But very few who, unless I'm not talking about professional guys, old timers, real professional thieves like myself or somebody. Uh, but I'm not offended. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> Morty, Morty, I need a lawyer, Morty. Morty, give me a lawyer. <laughs> He's been killing us. <laughs> the uh, anyway, so guys. I have to charge double. <laughs> Yeah, There's you know, an extra fee, uh, and, and it's another fee. I don't and the phone call itself, count, the consultation. <laughs> Shut up, Dick. Anyway, guys, you're gonna be hearing that voice. Anyway, uh, so that's how I believe, and I think at 20 years, people mostly by that time you're 50 years old, 55, whatever it is. You did 20 years in the joint. You're done. You're saying, God damn it, you almost need Social Security, and you know if they have that anymore. But that's it. Uh, with that said, that's Nick, ran dry. Who? That's a dry well. Oh. For you guys, dry, don't dry, plan dry. on that, Nick. Just dry, dry well. Don't plan on that. There ain't a Scraping. president, in a, there ain't a candidate in the world saying, oh, we'll have that in 20 years if I'm president. Because <laughs> they know that's a lie. And everybody knows that's a lie. They did not solve it now. They keep taking that money and raiding it. My for fourth grade shit. teachers looked at me and were like, good luck. <laughs> you oh, know, dude. like they literally were like, good luck, dude. And that's the nun. <laughs> yeah. They're like, good luck, buddy. And that's the nun. It was during the, um, the, the housing crisis, 2008. I remember them being like, good luck, guys. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Miss Swice. It was Miss Swice. Hey, that's his teacher. It was Mrs. Swice. Shout but, out Ms. But Swice. let me really mess it up. She really scared the shit out of me. That's dude. the same teacher or school that made him do YMCA as a, as, as a nine-year-old in a little <laughs> Indian outfit and uh, knowing what the song represented. Native. Out of... American. Wait. Outfit. Out of... It was a Native American outfit. Oh, Native... Out of a Catholic school... At least I didn't have the during ass. during At the least I wasn't like Tim and had the assless chaps yeah. on, you know. <laughs> Tim, your friend. You know, yeah. Hey. Oh, so at least they gave me the shut up, dress. Nick. Hey, and this is during the sex scandals of the church, yeah. Yeah, the housing crisis. So let's bring the village people and put the kids in village people outfits. Oh, that's good. And put a bunch trying of to save their homes. priests. They're trying to save their homes. Oh my God, that's so funny. When he told me that, I go. Now I know what's wrong with you. Yeah, but that is a true story about Miss Swice. She was like fear mongering us about not. I love a teacher. Would know, do that. She was like, good, good luck, luck kid. guys. You know, not get mad at you for, you know, in life, you're a screw up. Hey, good luck. <laughs> no, oh, man. You remember that. <laughs> yes, her name's Miss Swice. I was you hear in that, fourth guys? Grade. It was like 2008 during the housing crisis. You hear that? Because I was asking questions about it, and she was like, you're not going to have social security. Sentence made him remember <laughs> yeah. her for a life. Yeah, Miss Swice. Uh, my one sentence was, who, who would fuck Mrs. Armelino? And I got kicked out of school for. And me, uh, Scott Gariola. And she was crying. Danny too. Hartman. She was crying, too. She'd always cry. So she was, like, crying. I was scared. I, I was like, holy feel shit. for you guys. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's great. <laughs> she was a lay teacher. Like They call him huh? a lay teacher. She wasn't a no, nun, was she? No, uh, no, no, no. They call that a lay teacher. Yeah, I, I, I had one nun there. And then oh, really? By, like, eighth, or no, by, like, fifth or grade, she was retired. Did you know I have two uh, nuns that were my aunts, my mother's aunts, so my great I used to go visit them, and they were the nicest people, and they lived into their 90s, like all my mother's, uh, you know, family. But anyway, guys, I just want to say, uh, stay tuned for a really, really busy next few months. And Nick, what do you think? Keep up that stuff, but now tell everybody, you're no more rabbit holes. Come on. Oh, he don't want to talk. Oh, look at it. I love it. Isn't that great? When he's got the board, he's got the board. Have a great day, everybody. It's the greatest find yet. Nothing compares to it. But it's definitely something you should hear. This is The Real Deal with Larry Lawton.